Ready rice. Red beans and rice, Spanish standard, smoky, savory seasonings. 100% US grown rice. Made in Canada. Why is this Spanish one more yellow? Oh, you can see through the bag. A weekly diet? Is that because they for sure know you're going to eat the whole bag? Cool touch. The asterisk seems unneeded. Why didn't they just say dry in the ingredients list? It's more rice than I was expecting. Fresh out the bag, it smells like uh, what it should smell like. The beans and rice are really uh, overpowering the scent of the Spanish rice. As I thought might happen, there are cold spots in the rice. You know, maybe if you cook these in a pan, you wouldn't have that problem. And again, this only took two and a half minutes. Obviously, Ben knows what he's doing when it comes to rice. So, this is cooked. Not too hard, not too soft. It kind of has a reheated rice taste you get when you uh, have leftover Chinese food or anything that has rice in it. Uh, the Spaniard is uh, only lightly tomatoey. There are hardly any chopped up papers in here, but it is more or less Spanish rice. Uh, usually, when I get uh, red beans and rice, it's a lot more uh, saucy, and there are normally a lot more beans. This is mostly just rice. And since the beans have been cooked and dried and microwaved, they're kind of uh, chalky and powdery. So it tastes like a black bean though. Most of the smoky and savoriness just comes when you put the rice in your mouth and you feel it in the back of your throat. I don't actually taste it that much. It's like if you left Popeyes on your dashboard for three or four days to dry out. These were fine. I'm pretty sure I got them on sale at uh, two for five. So price-wise, I mean rice is normally really cheap, but since it is kind of prepared, I guess it evens out. I don't think this will offend anybody. If you're kind of looking just for some quick rice and you don't want to prepare yourself, let Ben do it. I'm going to give this a 5.